This is the season to travel, to unravel and to find solace. December is here and so Amazing. is the time to travel to take your next vacation. Are you also one of those who take a lot of time to decide a vacation spot? I love planning vacations with family, with friends and sometimes solo. Whenever I plan for my vacation, I scan through a list of factors before finalizing my destination. So I thought it will be a good help for all of those who are looking forward to find a next vacation spot for themselves. This video will be of help to you. So do remember to watch the video till the end to finalize your next travel destination. When there was a worldwide ban due to COVID, there were very limited ways to escape from our daily mundane life. I remember in those times, I used to look back at my travel pictures of the travel vacations that I had made in my past and that way I used to go down the memory lane and cherish the memories that I had gathered through the different travel experiences. I also used to listen to music. Books were my ways to escape. What were the ways you all used to travel and escape from your daily life? Comment below. Whenever I plan strategically for my next travel vacation, the stress leaves my mind and body. Now let me start with the first factor that I consider before selecting my travel destination. The first factor is time of the year. Yes, for some it could be summers, for some it could be winters or monsoons. I personally like to travel during winter season. I am a person who likes winter season, therefore I usually plan my long vacation during the month of December as it is the perfect month for freely roaming around with minimum temperatures and less heat which means less sweat. And since you have your month figured out already, just like for me I prefer December, you can plan your air tickets in advance. Now the second factor that I consider is the location. Yes, are you a beach person or a mountain person? Let me know in the comments. I look for a spot that provides me best of both the worlds so that I get few days to spend in the mountainous terrain to do some trekking, a little bit of hiking and other days I am sitting near a beach or a water body because I am an Aquarius so I am naturally attracted to water bodies. But the tip I would want to give here is do the research of the place well in advance so that it resonates your vibe. The vibe of the place should match with your vibe and then only you can enjoy the most out of your vacation. Also if you are going solo, it is highly recommended that you download offline map of the place that you are going because sometimes there are places where the internet connection is weak and you might have to ask around people. So it is better that you have an additional backup in the form of offline maps. The next factor that I am going to discuss is the time of the day. Yes, when I reach my travel destination, it is important for me to pick the spots that I want to visit on day 1, day 2 etc based on how do they look. There are some spots that look best during the sunrise for example hiking, mountainous terrains and beaches look their best during sunset and I am a sucker for sunsets. I really draw a lot of inspiration poetically, figuratively looking at sunsets. So I look for spots that look the most beautiful during sunsets and that is how I plan my day once I reach the travel destination. The fourth and the last factor that I consider is very personal and unique to everyone is travel essentials. Yes, everyone who likes to travel likes to carry something that is unique to them to rep which represents their style quotient or which is a must have in your travel backpack. For me, it is cap, sunglasses and third, I would leave it up to you to guess from my travel pictures. Now here's a special tip for females who are traveling solo. There's a special scarf which comes with pockets and if in case you lose your travel bag, you can always carry your essential like your wallet, your card, your identity proof etc inside the pockets of your scarf. I want to share two bonus tips with you all to plan your budget for the vacation. These are the things that I usually do. So instead of booking a full-fledged hotel, you can book all your rooms or hostels and hostels. That way the stay rates are cheaper because you have gone for a vacation not a staycation that means you don't have to stay inside the hotel for a longer duration of time the second budget tip that i want to share with you all is go for a three to four days trip instead of a week long trip because most of the places where you decide to go usually are covered in three to four days within india the money that you save 
from that can be utilized and spend on any adventure sports or creative recreational activities or can be utilized to book your return ticket so use these tips to strategically plan your vacations do let me know in the comment section out of the factors which i shared today which one of those do you consider while planning your vacation spot and also let me know which is your next travel destination if you have already decided one thanks so much for watching subscribe to my channel and check out other great videos